Hi. In this video, I will cover how to use the export and import configuration options within Sensor Connect. These are helpful tools to use if you are going to make significant changes to your node's configuration and want to have a backup of the node's current configuration saved to the host machine. Let's begin. To export the node's current configuration, click on the Export Configuration tile under the Advanced Options. This will bring you to a screen where you have a couple of options to choose from. First option is to only export the node's current calibration coefficients. The other option is to make a clone of the entire node's current settings. So for this example, I'm gonna create a clone of the entire node's settings. Click on Export Configuration to File. This will export all the node's EE prom settings and we'll save it to a file on our machine. Now that we have that saved, let's go ahead and modify some of the calibration settings on the node. For the sake of this example, I'll go in and make some pretty dramatic changes to the calibration coefficients on each channel. As you can see, on the right-hand side, we see the new calibration coefficients. Let's save those to the node. The settings have been saved. So now, when we go back to the configuration, we go to that tab, we'll see that these settings have been saved to the node. But what if we want to go back to the original settings? Well, we did save that configuration to our computer, so let's go ahead and just import that configuration back onto the node using the Import Configuration tab. Click on Browse and find the node state file that you saved previously with the export. Click Open. Then click Apply Node Configuration. This will load all of those original node configurations back on to your node. Now let's go back into the configuration and take a look at those calibration coefficients. As you can see, all of the original calibration coefficients have now been restored to the node. It is also very important to note that when you clone a node's configuration, that configuration should only be imported back onto the original node from where it came. Importing that clone configuration file onto different nodes can cause significant communication issues. For more information, or if you have any questions, please reference the product user manual found on our website, or you can contact technical support by phone or email.